what's going on everyone welcome back to the channel i have such a special video today you guys have no idea i've been trying to do this one for like at least like a year now but every time i'm about to do it i just get so sidetracked and like an ios update or something comes out and i totally lose track of it but i finally picked up a nintendo switch i should have done this one sooner i know but we're going to go ahead and take a look at it see everything that's been out i have this one on the newest version of switch os 2 i don't know what they call it but we're going to go ahead and see how the nintendo switch holds up in 2019 i know we're in june i should have done this one sooner i already said that like a thousand times but let's go ahead and see if this thing is still worth it if you should buy it if you should wait for the successor to the nintendo switch let's go and find that out but this thing came out in 2017 so it is a bit over two years old now and honestly when this thing actually came out i saw a lot of trailers and stuff for it and at the time i don't know i thought it was kind of like a gimmick you know because i saw the nintendo wii u i saw even like the 3ds with the 3ds gimmick i thought you know what why is nintendo going to make another thing like the wii u where it's like a console but you can hold it in your hands i'm like they need to focus on one or the other like they should make a separate portable console and then a separate like at home console that, that you can play there and then honestly at that time that's what i thought but i was completely wrong you know within the even the first couple months that the switch was eventually released back in 2017 even in the early part of 2018 i saw people using it and playing with it i saw a bunch of reviews and everything and i'm like man there is such a huge market that nintendo tapped into and i think for me i'm more into portable consoles but this gives you the best of both worlds and i think that's what really caught on for a lot of people and eventually i played with one last year i loved it and now that i actually own it i can tell you it's definitely a very very cool concept it's a very cool idea that nintendo actually pushed out to the market now looking around the actual body of the nintendo switch we have a 6.2 inch screen on the front this is the weird thing though it is 720p but at first when i actually picked it up i thought it was a little higher resolution i didn't think it was quite 1080p but i definitely thought it was higher than just straight up just regular hd but i think nintendo did a pretty decent job on the screen and the way it looks but and the screen and the overall body of it is more of like a tablet with joy cons on it it's not too heavy and honestly for some reason i'll tell you right now it doesn't feel as premium as i thought it was going to be hopefully the next version of the switch they will actually bring better build quality it doesn't feel cheap but i don't know it just kind of hit me the wrong way the cool thing is though that it's not only just touchscreen, so it is a touchscreen panel, but you also can slide in Joy-Cons, which are just the controllers, it's just like any other console. And I personally like this design a lot, you know, it charges through the Switch so you don't have to like charge the Joy-Cons separately or anything, and I actually like this a lot, but here's the thing, I think a few years later, you know, especially looking at it now, I've read a lot about this and I have some experience with this too, it's like, the Joy-Cons could definitely be improved, I feel like they can break so easily. On my specific one, I've had it for like a couple weeks now, and already like my Joy-Con is messing up a little bit i think they could be a bit more premium and i thought it was just me maybe i picked up a faulty controller but i went ahead and looked online and a lot of other people are complaining about the same exact thing but ultimately i like the styling of the switch i think the body of it is one of the best sellers and it looks so unique you know in a world where we had like the nintendo ds's and psps we have something that's kind of like a mesh up between those two it's touchscreen it kind of looks like playstation vita to be honest but it's definitely in its own league in my opinion now one huge thing that I also want to hit on is that Nintendo seemed to be focused more on the console itself and not so much on the gimmicks you know looking at it now I think when it was released that's kind of what I thought it was going to be down like that gimmick road almost and it, Nintendo really focused on super weird things before like the you know the 3d camera mode and all that stuff and the wii u how it was like both a portable and at home console it's kind of weird i don't know why but nintendo kind of just threw all those things out the window and focused on what was important and gave us really decent hardware but they also made it so developers can go and develop games on the eShop that we could actually go and download for free i know the wii u and the 3ds all those things had eShops as well but i think the nintendo switches was a little bit more personal and they just did a better job at it ultimately now going back to something that kind of irks me, it's really not that big of a deal, but the micro SD card slot, it's behind the kickstand, which I honestly think it's a strange spot. I spent like 20 minutes trying to look for it. I saw, you know, I was like, am I missing something? Like, is the game slot like a two in one? Like, do you put in the micro SD card there? And eventually I was about to look it up, but then I flipped back to kickstand. I'm like, there's no way they put it behind that. And I eventually opened it and they did put it behind that. So I don't really understand what they were doing there. <laughs> It's not that big of a deal, but hopefully, like I said, with the next successor with the Nintendo Switch, hopefully they can go and, you know, move that somewhere else. Now, like I stated before, this thing is not only just a portable console, but it also doubles as like a console you can plug into your TV. But I found that I actually like playing it as a portable console more and not so much as one connected to my television. And I don't know why I said television, I meant to say TV, whatever. <laughs> now that all the logistics are out of the way, you know, turning it on, we have Switch UI or Switch US, whatever they call it. Mine specifically is on 8.0.1, but apparently 8.1 came out, but I haven't updated to it yet. But I think I might have to because in order for me to play certain games like Fortnite or whatever, I think I have to be updated to the most recent version. So I don't really understand that. Or maybe I have to update the actual Fortnite game. 
but either or the newest version is 8.1 and and honestly i like switch's ui a lot you know it seems like more refined than really everything else that i've seen nintendo make that's even including the wii's ui and maybe even the 3ds's ui but i think 3ds's ui was pretty much normal and more stable the switch ui seems a bit unstable right now you know it's not a big deal but hopefully they will get better with updates i think the one thing i like about nintendo switch's ui is that it seems a little bit more i don't know like high end or more professional even though it's a gaming console or whatever it seems like it's kind of more like sophisticated in a way and not sophisticated in a sense like oh you're classy or whatever it just seems like it's less childish i felt like with 3ds's ui it just seemed so weird in a way and seemed like i was playing like a little kids console even with like the dsis and ds lights it, the ds lights i don't know what they were thinking that ui was very strange i don't even know what that was the dsis ui was a lot better though in my opinion but then eventually they kept that same type of layout and it just made me feel like i'm playing some kids like game console even though the games were amazing i loved playing the 3ds's the switch's ui i think is much much more better in my opinion in that in that sense especially looking at it now since we've been through so many updates i think nintendo did a pretty good job on the ui now the actual games for these things are very very cool there's tons of games that have came out even since the beginning i mean it's only been out for like a year or two years and there's already so many games out for this thing we have all the marios we have zeldas we have smash brothers we even have the crash bandicoot trilogy and we're pretty much just getting started i feel like the lifespan of the nintendo switch will be a fairly long i think it's going to be much longer obviously than the wii u's i feel like it's going to tap into like the D 3ds's the dsi's i think maybe even the ds lights but the ds light had a pretty long run and it's still pretty relevant to today and one of the coolest things about the nintendo switch that i kind of hit on earlier is the eShop. and like i said the other consoles had it too but I feel like more people are interested in developing for the Nintendo Switch and I feel like Nintendo is going to do a pretty good job at being able to port over all those different games to you know the next Nintendo Switch whether that is the Nintendo Switch 2 whether it's a whole different console whatever the case is I feel like Nintendo is going to be able to make those games you know you can make the game for the Nintendo Switch and then it can eventually be ported over to the next gaming console to the next kind of like what they did with the 3DS and the DS Lite all DS Lite games are pretty much compatible with the 3DS but Nintendo did a weird thing where 3DS games can't be played on the Switch, so hopefully Nintendo focuses on this specific console, that way we can have a bunch of developers for this one specific console, and then have really, really crazy games for that one. I hope that makes sense. But when you have so many people developing different games for every single console, the quality of the games, in my opinion, does kind of go down, especially for like third-party developers who aren't like these huge developing communities. I know I kind of went on a tangent there, but that's kind of what I'm thinking, especially for the future of the Nintendo Switch. Another awesome thing, we have a ton of new Switch games coming out. We saw a lot of them announced at E3 just a couple weeks ago. We have the new Animal Crossings. We actually have the new Spyro Trilogy coming out for the Nintendo Switch 2, which is, looks amazing. And there's tons of other games like that too. So in my opinion, the Nintendo Switch is just getting started. Now, custom firmware does exist, but I'm not going to talk about it because I'll let you guys do some research on that. I'm not going to talk, I'm not going to hit on it in this video. Um, but usually with portable gaming consoles, I wouldn't really be involved with it outside of gaming. But you can get like YouTube and Hulu and like so many other apps, which are actually not that bad on the Nintendo Switch. With like the 3DSs and like the PS Vitas, they try to get you to do other things, but it's like a light version of that app. It's like a beta version of it. Whereas on the Nintendo Switch, I think it's a little bit more refined and since that screen is a little bit bigger and because you know it is a touch screen and it's a very very decent panel you can go out and you can do so many other things with this and watch movies and do other things with it other than just play games all day in terms of battery life the actual battery size of it is a 4300 million power battery it's not insanely impressive you know my 2ds from many years ago had amazing battery life my 2ds excel also has pretty good battery life but this is pretty average and i can pretty much claim that on two things so one because it's a bit older battery inside it did degrade a little bit mine wasn't specifically brand new but but also if you keep it docked all the time it could degrade the battery since you know keeping a battery at 100 all the time does degrade it over time so that is a one thing right there but also too games are heavier intensive than the 3ds or 2ds counterparts so it honestly makes sense but because this thing does have a usb type c port which is awesome you can actually just go plug this into a usb type c charger and charge it that way that was a very very smart thing that nintendo did i'm so glad they didn't go like to some specific cable that you had to buy you you can now use any usb type c port which is awesome now to answer the question that is burning inside of everybody is the nintendo switch still worth it in 2019 i'm gonna tell you yes absolutely i think it's a no-brainer and usually when i do like a double eye swipe of some sort i usually say oh i recommend buying used or this or that i would probably not recommend getting a used nintendo switch since in the used market these things are still very expensive like there's only like a 20 or 30 dollar difference between getting a used nintendo switch and a brand new nintendo switch so i'd probably just recommend you get a brand new nintendo switch it'll make things so much easier and there's really not that much of a difference in terms of the pricing but i feel like with the next version of the nintendo switch nintendo can do so much better 
and hopefully with the next update they not only focus on the build quality of the actual tablet but they also focus on the joy cons as well hopefully they can go and improve the quality of them make them feel a little bit more premium and have a longer lifespan than what they have currently but that's kind of my two cents on it but man i love the nintendo switch i can't wait to get into it even more and start increasing my gaming library i should have a video out in the next couple days talking about the best free games for the nintendo switch i think that's a huge advantage for the switch family is like having all these games available even ones that are for free you can download over the internet without having to go to the store or all that stuff but i'll leave links in the description for the cheapest nintendo switch that i find on amazon as well as i don't know like joey cons i'll throw those in the description as well if you want to pick them up you guys can help support the channel at the same time but that is pretty much it if you guys have any other questions or anything leave it down in the comment section as well hit that like button that would mean so much but definitely hit that subscribe button every single subscriber that we get really does count so it'll mean so much if you guys can hit that also check out the other links down in the description as well my twitter my instagram my second channel all those links are linked down below it would really mean so much if you guys could check those out but more importantly than everything else i love every single one of you guys hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out till then